Hi, I am David Serlin, president of Serlin Games, and we're here with Fantasy Strike. So David, we, we spoke at PSX. Talk about what's new here at GDC with Fantasy Strike. <laughs> well, our big news is that we are on the Nintendo Switch, or we will be coming to the Nintendo Switch this summer, and we're going to do a simultaneous release on, well, at least we, we hope to, on Switch, PlayStation 4, and uh, Steam will come out of early access at that time. We're on early access right now. So people who don't know what Fantasy Strike is, kind of give us a little summary of what this game's all about. Yeah, so to tell you what Fantasy Strike is about, I think I should mention my, my background a little bit because it's so relevant. So I, I'm a fighting game player forever, I'm a tournament player. I used to help run the Evolution Tournament, which is you know this hu huge national thing. Uh, I was lead developer of Street Fighter HG Remix. So I care a lot about the hardcore side of fighting games. And what we're trying to do here with Fantasy Strike is take the, the fun that, that I've had, that the hardcores have, and give it to everyone else. Like, so the control scheme, for example, is as simple as we could possibly make it. There's no quarter circles, there's no 360s, and the game is designed around that to make, it, to make that fair. Uh, combos are easy to do on purpose, and uh, it, it's just all about what should, you, what should you do. Like, when should you do the move, not can you? Uh, and something I hope your audience can, will, will understand and not, not c conflate or mix up is that even though the game is simple to control, we're not trying to simplify the strategy part. It's actually the opposite. We're, when you make a game, a fighting game, really simple to control, the only thing left is the strategy decision elements. So every time we test Fantasy Strike, we're all playing at full strength. We're all playing our hardest. We're not dropping combos, you know. And all of our focus on the development side is making sure the matches are interesting and the you know the dynamics like aren't aren't stale and we so we're trying to make a, a deep strategy game that that can be an esport but yet at the same time it's the most casual friendly you know easy to pick up fighting game we could make. That is one of the hardest things in a fighting game because even myself being a fighting game enthusiast, I'm always like, okay, is that punishable? Does that connect? I mean, I'm in the lab consistently trying to figure stuff out that the game doesn't explain to me. Yeah, it, it's, yeah so I can tell you're a fighting game player. That's one of the main things you do in the lab is uh, you have a chance to punish, and so what's the optimal punish? So in Fantasy Strike, most punishes are something like you press A and then B, like A, B. It's like a two-hit combo and does two damage. Well, two damage is two-sixths or one-third of your life, so that's a, that's a real strong punish, but it's something that you learn instantly. Someone just tells you, like, oh, oh dude, here's this is the combo you should do. Uh, which, again, it shows you where our focus is. It, it's all on what, you know, don't get punished in the first place. Not, not like, don't how be, should I punish? Don't be throwing out moves yeah. that aren't safe. <laughs> and they, they're still, even, even with the punish, they're still the same kind of decisions you would be used to, like, well, should you not? Should you do one damage less but knock down? Because you, maybe you'll get a stronger, you know, mix-up afterwards. Or should you use your super meter? Uh, you know, you could use it right now, or you could try to save it. Like so, the, the, again, the decisions are there, but not the execution barrier. Talk about. Have you shown it? Do you have any new characters here you're showing for the first time that we didn't see at PSX? Uh, let's see. We we unveiled our tenth character, Argagarg, the the fish man at at PSX, and we've been we've been polishing him. So he, it's like a better version of him here, but it's it, not a not a new character. Uh, we actually we do have something new: the uh, team battle mode. So that in that mode, you can pick three characters against someone who else has picked three characters, and you play a series of three out of five matches. And what? So okay, a lot of games have team battle. That's like. Standard. Oh, you'd be surprised. I mean, Street Fighter's been lacking in content recently, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they, they have a they have a new team battle too of some sort. Um, anyway, a lot of games have that high concept, but we have never seen it done the way it works here. And actually, really excited about it. So, the way it works is uh, the the matchups you play are random on purpose. So like, I have my three characters, and you have yours. But we play like an even spread of, of those matchups. And what that means is that we get to see a lot of different matchups over that the course of that you know series, and we can't counterpick each other. Uh, and that, ma that makes a big difference. Like when we the normal way to do it is like um, if you win, then I'll pick my character who's the best against yours. So all the matches we play are like the most unfair matchups. Like we play unfair this way and then unfair that way. 
Uh, but the way it works here, uh, very few matchups are are unfair match because it's all it's all random, you know. <laughs> so talk about like <clears throat> talk about like you, a little bit more of your combo system. Instead of like a bar with X amount of health, you have like amount of hits you can take before you're knocked out. Like it's more straightforward. Right, so the life bar is segmented into hit points, and the, the normal number of hit points for characters is six, but the rush down characters have five, and the two grapplers have seven or eight. So but by having its discrete hit points, it's really clear exactly what's going on. Like, if you have three hit points left, I know that my jump, attack, punch, fireball is going to kill you before I do it. It's um, clear and understandable. In other fighting games, yeah, in other fighting games, it's it's obfuscated on purpose, where you don't you don't really know like how many hit points are left, and there's actually like a lot of hit points hidden in the last little bit of life, so that it often comes down to that last little bit, and it feels exciting. And I I don't think that's necessarily bad. That, that's a, a common thing to do, but you do lose the readability, understandability by doing it that way. And since we hadn't really seen seen it done this way. We wanted to try it, you know, something different and have it be as clear as we could make it. What was it like porting on the Switch and how was it like, what was it like porting on the Switch and what did Nintendo provide in terms of tech and support to help make the game a, a reality? So, <clears throat> to get the game to run on Switch, um, so we're using the Unity game engine and the Switch supports Unity. So, like, most of the work is kind of already, already done. Uh, it, it's not like... There's no such thing as being on a new platform and just pressing a button and it works. Like there's always something you've got to do. So uh, one of the one of the bigger things, still not that big a deal, but it is a lot to think about, is the way controllers work on Switch. Like, uh, do you want to play with a Joy-Con? We can we support every kind of configuration, like a Pro Controller or one Joy-Con sideways or two Joy-Cons like on a grip. Uh, and when people switch between all those different controller modes. We've got to support it correctly. So that, that was tricky, but you know, it's not that big of a deal. Like I would say the biggest challenge we've had is just performance. It's just getting the game to run fast enough and load fast enough. And uh, we're still we're still improving that. So it's gonna be better those like, frames per second and loading times are gonna be better on ship day than they are on our demo here. Uh, so I, I'd say that's been the hardest part. When does your game come out and what platforms will will be on? Fantasy Strike will come out probably this summer. We don't have a hard date. And we're aiming for a simultaneous release on PlayStation 4, Steam, and uh, Nintendo Switch. And, and as I mentioned before, we are on Steam Early Access right now. Mm -hmm.